डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर कुणाल केशरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट जी वी पंत सोशल साइंस इंस्टीट्यूट अलाहाबाद टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ पेपर ऑन माइग्रेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन द मॉड्यूल इज एंटाइटल्ड एज रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर to understand meaning and measures of population redistribution components of population redistribution and role of internal and international migration in population redistribution as noted by population censuses human populations are very unevenly distributed in space and the distribution undergoes continuous change over time the resulting changed patterns is referred as population redistribution population redistribution is defined as regional change in the proportion of a country's population over time so far the reasons behind population redistribution are concerned it is mainly due to either from migration or from relative differences in rates of natural increase in this unit we have endeavored to explain the measures of population redistribution it consists of three different sections dealing with the concept of standard distance volume of redistribution of population and concentration of urban population population distribution is simply the arrangement or pattern of spread of people over space it may also refer to variations in the population according to categories of age sex race and class in a given area anthropologists believe that human species date back to at least 3 million years ago population growth started to take place in various parts of the world as people learned to grow food food became more available and population started to settle at particular places over the centuries population continued to grow with a slow pace and people started to migrate to new lands for securing food availability and escaping the ills of misery figure shows that Asia was the most populated continent in the world and it continues to be so since Asia is the cradle of all ancient civilizations and it is vast and resourceful Europe witnessed increase in population in the 1900 due to the impact of industrial revolution while Latin America and Africa show considerable growth after the 2000 probably due to economic growth north america also shows slight increase due to international migration of people from different parts of the world and oceania remains the least populated continent till now these observations suggest that the phenomena of world population growth and distribution although influenced by physical factors related to climate soil and water is mainly governed by human agencies and behaviors the essence of population distribution and redistribution lies in the linkages between mankind space and environment both natural and cultural now coming to meaning and measures of population redistribution the term redistribution refers to something that has been rearranged population redistribution therefore refers to rearrangement of population over space thus it involves a change in the distribution of population in a particular area jakaria and ambanawar in 1964 argued that population redistribution can be measured only with reference to a set of aerial units such as states districts localities etc into which the country is divided and a set of time measured if the aerial unit 
is denoted by i where i equal to 1 2 3 up to n the time t interval is denoted by its points 0 and 1 and the population of the ith aerial unit at time t by pi function t we may define the amount of redistribution during the time interval 0 to 1 as t equal to 1 by 2 into sigma bracket pi function of 0 divided by p function of 0 into p function of 1 minus pi function of 1 where d is the amount of redistribution and p function of a and p function of 1 are the total population of the country sigma pi function of t at time 0 and 1. We may interpret d as the minimum number of persons that should change their aerial unit of residence in time 1 so that percentage distribution of the population by aerial units in time 1 may be the same as in time 0. Manual 6 on measures of internal migration provides the mathematical formula for calculating the contribution of net migration on population redistribution rm equal to sigma plus m dot i minus m i dot equal to sigma i into m dot i minus m i dot divided by 2 where m dot i minus m i dot refers to the measure of net change due to migration and the symbol sigma plus indicates the summation of those net changes having a positive sign. This number can be expressed as the rate of redistribution or a rate of displacement due to migration by relating it to total population within which the displacement occurred. An appropriate base is the average population the rate rm may be written as rm equal to capital r m into k divided by 0 0.5 into pt plus pt plus n this particular formula is specific to the class of area on which it is applied that means country state or district or region there are two essential components of population redistribution the two major contributing factors to population redistribution are natural growth and net migration these two components affect each other and therefore are not mutually exclusive natural growth usually brings positive change in any area while net migration effect can either be positive or negative. Net migration can bring changes to the area experiencing natural growth of population and similarly natural growth can also bring about changes due to migration. Thus there is a dynamic interrelationship between natural growth and net migration and together they determine the amount of population redistribution of any area. The natural growth of any particular region is obtained by deducting the number of deaths from the number of births and its effect whether positive or negative will depend on the stage of demographic transition the region is experiencing. On the other hand net migration can be calculated from the difference between in migration and out migration in any particular region or total immigration minus total emigration. In migrant sending regions that means areas of origin the effect of net migration will be negative while in migrant receiving regions that means area of destination it will be positive. The overall effect of net migration will interact with the natural growth rate of population 
and result in population redistribution. The volume of migration that leads to population redistribution is observed to when global, regional as well as rural urban levels are considered together. In the present day world, international migration is emerging as the most dominant form of human mobility as continents have come closer to one another through advances in communication technologies and also with the rise of economic dependencies in the age of neoliberalism and neocolonialism. At the regional level also, migration is an emerging phenomena and promises to be an ever-increasing one, especially in countries of the global south where vast regional disparities in development exists and labor moves from one place to another in search of economic opportunities. The phenomenon of migration, which is an agency of population redistribution, needs to be understood in the perspective of modernization. It centers primarily on the economic motivation behind the movement of people. The redistribution of people has to be understood in connection with the regions, the economy, the level of development and the role played by the government. Traditional migration theories although take into account the economy and the development parameters in their models fail to address the issues of speciality. The importance of speciality and region was first dealt in the model of mobility or migration by Zelensky in 1971, linking it to demographic transition. It was predicted that migration as a form of human mobility will increase as development continues to take place and it will depend on the particular stage of economic, social and demographic development of a region. It is followed by deconcentration or dispersal of population to the periphery or fringes with improved transportation and communication technologies. In the later stages of development, often there is a counter urbanization when rural areas are developed and regional disparities are brought to a minimum, people might prefer return migration. Kuznets emphasized on the differential effect of technological progress upon the distribution of economic opportunities through structural changes such as industrialization and urbanization, increasing labor productivity and agricultural revolution, introduction of new sectors into the economy, labor will not be tied to the land and concentration of activities will take place in what can be called as the urban agglomerations. Therefore, population redistribution is viewed as an inevitable outcome of expanding economic opportunities through technological and cultural revolutions and it can be viewed as a rough adjustment to the distribution of economic opportunities. He further said that the rapidity and magnitude of the differential impacts that accompany modern economic growth are such that the vital processes of birth and death can play but a minor role in adjusting the distribution of population to economic opportunities in different parts of the country. Mortality decline not only led to fertility decline but also encouraged migration and urbanization. Now coming to contribution of internal and international migration to population redistribution. At present the world inhabits more urban population than rural population. According to the United Nations 2014 results, globally more people live in urban areas than in rural areas with 54% of the world's population residing in urban areas in 2014. There still remains considerable variation in the level of urbanization 
among the different countries of the world. This variation promises to bring further changes in future, especially in the size, composition and spatial distribution of population. The world is now more global and interconnected in terms of movement of goods, services and labor from one country to another. At the national level and regional scales, this is also true specifically in cases of developing economies. This indicates that both internal and international migration is likely to increase in future, redistributing the world population further. Let us consider the two migration processes separately and what possible implications it may have on the spatial arrangement of population over the world in future. The above figure shows the share of urban population in the different continents since 1950 and projects it till 2050. The highest percentage of urbanization is observed in North America followed by Latin America, Europe and Oceania. The lowest levels of urbanization are observed in Asia and Africa with a difference of about 35 to 40 percent with that of the developed continents. The present trends of labor migration indicate that increased levels of international migration will take place from Asian and African countries to the West and Oceania. Coming to population redistribution and public policy. A policy is a series of measures taken by public authorities to influence the trend of population change or principles offered as a basis for such measures. Population policies are an attempt by the government to change the natural demographic behavior of people for some desired goals. The control of demographic behavior is extremely difficult because in most instances it is generally related with a variety of other very stable socio-economic trends. However, some demographic behavior is relatively easy to control since they are not related to any particular socio-economic environment. Mortality can be controlled relatively easily because it requires little lesser personal endeavor or social change as such. International migration is also rather easy to control by imposing border controls, regulating domestic employment and welfare legislations. So far, we have gone through the concept of measurements of population redistribution and important components of this internal migration and international migration. Also, we got to know that population policies should include a component of population redistribution policy designed to influence the territorial distribution of population as well as a component of migration policy. Questions Explain the meaning of the term redistribution of population and how to measure it. Discuss the role of natural increase in redistribution of population. Explain the role of migration in population redistribution as a country passes through different phases of development. Thank you students.